What do you want to do? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh. We'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? I see. Candidates found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is... all of Shibuya.
What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Let's go. Hey! Uh... Come on, man. Joker. Joker. We couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? All right, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. Connections. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. <sighs> well then. 
thinking lately about those phantom thieves I mean if dad were still alive sorry I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating it's okay keep going I just wonder if he would have been on their side that's all the only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else that's not you don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Uh. I just remembered. Got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? So you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly! So, so you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. 
Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. We're never gonna find her. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students at Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. Ugh, shit, he ignored me! Damn it, I said stop! Ryuji! Hurry up and get in! So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? About three million. Oh, for real? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now.
I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For... I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child, so all I am is a burden to her. Hmm, and that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but... I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. I'm the same. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kaneshiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice? Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air! Th this is reality? My goodness. <sighs> I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like 
overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? We're about the same! Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue, after all. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We are totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Shall we go? What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let him pass. That voice. It's Kaneshiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sort. In theory. Could I eat with this? Unauthorized injury, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? No, a loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. 10% interest a day? Um, uh, that means uh, one day is... It's 300,000 yen. 
There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kaneshiro! We're gonna snatch your treasure from you! Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My Citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Come! Ravage them! Persona! Ha. Oh, Skull. You're pathetic. Persona! Eat this! Persona! Guards turn into monsters. And what were those supernatural powers? Could those have been the personas you mentioned? 
does now really look like the time to be asking that? We need to retreat. Makoto, make sure you don't get separated from us. Hurry, Joker. The exit's just over there. There's no end to them. Guys! You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough as it is. So it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful. If only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then! <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! Huh? Have you decided to tread the path of strength? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell?! No, dude. That's a bike! I can feel it. Myself. Me! Got it! <laughs> wow! Nice! What is that? I've never seen anything like it. <clears throat> you better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you! I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? <laughs> Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. We've got Wait, some persona. options, but we'd better find a weakness. Yeah. Nice. The enemy's dead! Use our sure. opportunity! Pass the baton and fuck! We've got some options, but we'd better find yeah. a weakness. We've got persona. some options, but we'd better find That's a weakness. It. Not bad! Skull got in a solid hit! Alright, better handle this. We've got some options, but we better Sorry, find a weakness. Is there a weakness? I don't think you have any skills that'll hit a weakness. Damn it! Hands over feet! Are you alright? Come! This is our chance. Grab it, you can hit their weakness! Do it! Now, let's get out of here! We 
know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Damn. Okay, we have a path. Stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Man, talk about wild. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. Feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years, but it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the phantom thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great. We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. with each other until just a while ago. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this.
Okay. Yeah! Yes. Yeah. All right. Well then. A motorcycle-shaped persona, huh? You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's like... I feel a sense of familiarity? Ah, uh, no. I'm supposed to be human. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. I really am special after all. Huh? Carry? No. Take somewhere? Something just crossed my mind. And it's no use. I can't remember at all. <sighs> eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from her. But man, you really do have something special. Looks like I better step up my game, too. All right. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos, too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Hello? Uh, we got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? Nah, that can't be. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room, although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway... Um... I wanted to apologize. I'm... really sorry. For everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt, so I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace, and you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. 
That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah. I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mmm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? Are you listening? Pay attention! I should write something. 